Hey, welcome back to Tech Jungle. In this video, we're taking a look at Mavoy's Tick Watch Pro with 4G LTE. Now, Mavoy was kind enough to send this out to me for review. However, I'm not going to give you biased feedback. It's all honest opinions on this watch after using it for about 30 days. What I'm going to do is break it down into two categories, and that would be reasons why I would buy this watch and also reasons why I may look elsewhere for another watch. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, one big reason why I would buy this watch is that it has a dual layer display. And what I mean by that, it has an AMOLED panel and it's colorful and bright. Uh, it's similar to what you would get on the Galaxy Watch and an Apple Watch, probably not as crisp or as sharp, um, but it is a good panel. And then the second one is an LCD monochrome panel. So that's a liquid crystal display. And what this is, it's, it's, it's almost like a Casio display. So it's really good in outdoor environments. You can read the time well and your steps well. Um, and then it also saves battery life. So jumping into the second reason why I like this watch, uh, the battery life is incredible. Now Mavoy does claim that you can get it for 30 days on a single charge with this watch using the LCD display and in a low power mode. I haven't tried it out. However, my watch did get down to about 20% and I had the LCD display activated and it lasts for about four or five days after that. So it's definitely an excellent feature to have um, that dual layer display. Just It gives you more functionality and it gives you more versatility when using this watch. You're not always strapped to a battery charger at the end of the night. You can definitely extend the life of this battery and you get your your time and you get your steps tracked in a 24 hour period and i think that's a pretty good feature to have another reason why i like this watch is that it's rugged it's durable uh, you get this thick rubber band and a nice uh, hard shell plastic chassis with a stainless steel bezel and for me it's definitely nice and rugged i've banged it up against a couple surfaces and i don't have a scratch on it so i think it's definitely a well built durable watch and then my final reason for picking up this watch would be that it has wear os now, if you've seen a previous rant with me talking about the Galaxy Watch, you know that I'm not a big fan of Bixby and I wish that I had Google Assistant on it, but it doesn't. Uh, but with the TicWatch Pro, you do get Google Assistant and it works almost as good as what you would get on your phone. So you can ask it for directions or how tall your favorite celebrity is or who the current president is. It'll give you all the information that you would get on your smartphone. However, it's not as fast and responsive, but it is Google Assistant on a watch, and that's pretty cool. So now jumping into some reasons why you may want to look elsewhere for a smartwatch. The first one for me is the lack of quality watch faces in the Google Play App Store. Uh, in comparison to the Galaxy App Store, where I could find 30 to 40 high quality watch faces, uh, in the Google Play Store, I found maybe a half a dozen that I really liked. Now that's my personal preference, but I feel like if you wanna customize your watch, finding high quality watch faces that you enjoy is one of those parts of customizing your watch. So for me, I really didn't find that same level of quality in the Google Play Store. Now you do have access to Facer and also the Watchmaker app. And those are some awesome applications that allow you to customize your watch faces even further. However, I found that sometimes you do get a little bit of lag using those third party watch face apps. Another reason why I may look elsewhere is because you're only given the option of one color and one set of materials for the Tick Watch Pro with 4G LTE. It's black, it's rubber, it's plastic. Uh, you don't get the option to get like an aluminum chassis or even a stainless steel chassis, something that I would prefer uh, to make it look a little bit more high end. However, that's just a personal opinion of mine and, and that's something that if you're really looking for a jewelry type of watch, uh, this is not really it. This is more of a rugged outdoors get the job done type of watch. Now, the last reason why I may look elsewhere for another watch is the lack of quality health tracking features that you get with this watch. With the Galaxy Watch and the Apple Watch, you get a really good companion app that summarizes your goals and activities. It tracks your heart rate, it tracks your steps, it monitors your sleep. Uh, especially with the Galaxy Watch, you get a lot of those features in the Samsung Health app, and it's all right there all in one summary and you don't really get that with the tick watch pro at least i couldn't find an app that really was a good companion to track all my health features in one spot also with the heart rate monitor i wasn't really a big fan of i feel like you get a more accurate heart rate monitor with the galaxy watch and also with the apple watch uh, i know i've heard people say you can shave a little spot especially for me i have hairy arms but you can shave a little spot on your arm and that may uh, help the heart rate monitor uh, pick up your heart rate a little bit better but 
I'm not gonna do that. For me personally, I just felt like uh, the steps were pretty accurate, the heart rate monitor was so-so, and then just the companion health app wasn't really there for me. So if health tracking is a big feature for you, you may wanna look at the Galaxy Watch or even the Apple Watch if you're an iPhone user. So to summarize my experience with the Tick Watch Pro, I think it's a good watch. You get a really long-lasting battery, you get that dual layer display, you get a Google Assistant, and uh, you get Wear OS. So those are good features to have. Now on the drawback, you don't get the same quality watch faces that you would get on the Galaxy Watch, and you don't get the different material options and color options like you would get in the Galaxy Watch or an Apple Watch. Uh, but other than that, I think it's a good pickup. I think you can get it right now for $230 online. So if you're in the market for a smartwatch, I would definitely recommend taking a look at the Tick Watch Pro. I think it's a good watch in general. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I will see you on the next video. Y'all take care.